Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be discussing this Samsung TV that once we do power it on, backlights go on, but there is no picture. So as we can see here, a little bit hard to see with the overhead lights on, so I'm just gonna cut it off for just a second. But as we can see, there are backlights there on the television, but there is no picture. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna power it off, take the back of the television off and look at the different component boards and see what the culprit is. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. So here we are looking at the back of the television here and what we wanna do, if you do have a stand on the television, you wanna go ahead and remove the stand Stand so the back of the television can remove completely here and then you want to look inside all the different screws you're going to see all over the back of the television remove all those screws all the way around the bezel and all the way back around over here making sure you don't forget one and then the back of the plastic should remove very easily from the television and this precise model if you're wondering is right there you can pause that all right guys once the back is off just set it out of the way carefully and now we're looking at the back of the television here it's very simple because this is an led we have a power supply over here which is connected over here to the main board which is then connected with the ribbon down to the t-con board here which is connected to the display little strips down here at the bottom to connect to the panel. So you have three different options. It's gonna be the T-Con board, which is this blue one down here. Second choice, which is gonna be the main board, or the third choice, which is unfixable, which is gonna be a bad panel, meaning you might as well just recycle the TV. I'm about 95% sure it's a bad T-Con board. But before you do purchase a new one, you wanna go ahead and look over your T-Con board. You wanna look over your main board to make sure there's no like, just kind of a burnt marks around there to determine if there's any type of fuse or anything like that that has burnt out. Also, I would reseat the ribbons down here. I would reseat this ribbon here. Here, unplug these, of course, plug them back in. But because it powers on, and it stays on, just there's no picture. Our power supply is good. So this is where you do need to be careful because the television is plugged in. So don't go touching any capacitors or anything like that. Just be careful. Let's go ahead and power it on. There's our two lights there. There's our LED lights that flicker on and then stay on. And so our backlights are on, of course. So there's no rips in my cable or anything like that. So that looks good. So I have ordered a new T-Con board, a replacement. It's actually a new one that actually came with these two ribbon cables as well. So that's really good. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn off the television. We are gonna be unscrewing the two screws, one right here and one right here. And it looks like after that, it just slips right out. But we do, again, this is where you need to be careful. You want to go ahead and flip these latches down here. You're gonna put your fingernail under there and just gently pull out. They're gonna come from north to south, flip down. Undo that one. We're gonna put the new T-Com board back in, reseat these new ribbon cables that are on the new one. Let me go ahead and show you that new one now here. Here is the new one that just came in the mail. And even though those ribbon cables are bent over, they're totally fine. They're seated in here already. But again, we're just gonna be plopping it straight down like this, reseating those ribbon cables there, putting this ribbon cable obviously back into the new one here, tightening up your screws, and we are gonna be then firing it back up and that should fix our problem. Well guys, unfortunately a new T-Con board did not fix it, but I wanna show you one thing so you guys can continue your diagnosis if this is happening to you or not. Now I flip-flopped the new one and the old one and it replicates this same thing. Let me go ahead and show you down here. So I did a lot of different combinations with the ribbons out and the only way I'm getting it to semi work is with this one on the right hand side disconnected from the T-Con board right here. This one's connected, this one's connected. Again, I've tried to flip flop them to replicate the other side of the TV and it's not working. This is the only way it works with this side out, this blue LED light is now displayed. These two were on regardless. And 
as we flip the television over here, now we have this side, so if you're looking at the television, that's the right-hand side. That's working completely fine. That's just the TV tuner there. It actually comes up halfway, but then this side over here is completely out, and you're thinking, well, of course, it's the ribbon, it's disconnected, but once I turn off the television, insert this ribbon back in, the same thing starts all over again. It turns on with the backlights with no picture whatsoever. The only time I can ever replicate half a picture is with just the right side of the Tcon ribbon that connects down to the panel. So it's either a main board issue or it's gonna be a panel issue. And if it's the panel issue, then you have to determine, well, you've already put in a new Tcon board. I've replicated the exact same thing with the old one, which means it wasn't even a Tcon board problem to begin with. So now I'm either gonna go with the main board or this is where you have to determine, are these parts worth it? Now I can sell the TCOM board I just bought back on eBay, and I can try to purchase a pre-owned main board to see if that fixes it. And if that doesn't fix it, then obviously you can sell the power supply, you can sell the main board, and you can sell the TCON board because it's a bad panel. I'm gonna leave that in your guys' hands. I'm gonna go ahead and look into prices of a new main board. If I can pick one up cheap enough, this is a 50 inch smart TV, it might be worth my time. I know prices are coming down where you can pick one up for a couple hundred bucks, so is investing a hundred dollars in your time worth it? I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Well guys, unfortunately, after I ordered another main board as well, it's still doing the exact same thing, and the only reason I'm getting this is because I pulled out the ribbon on the T-Con board over here on this side right here. So I think it's a bad panel, unfortunately. I put in another T-Con board, I put another main board in. That should have fixed it, unfortunately it did not. Same thing when the T-Con board is plugged in. Fires up, you see the backlights, no picture, and I only get this side when that one ribbon is out like I explained in the video earlier and just showed you. And there are these weird lines on here like this, so I think it's just a bad panel. Unfortunately, the little strips down here at the bottom, you could try to micro solder if you're really good with that, but these are the ribbons down here that are connected to the actual panel of the TV. You can't really order those parts. They're micro soldered into the ribbons, which go into the television panel. So unfortunately, it's not a complete loss. I'll go ahead and now that I know that it does power up just fine, it's a bad panel, I'll go ahead and sell all the parts and the parts that I did invest in this, another TCOM board and another main board. I will sell all those and recoup some money. Well guys, hopefully the video has helped you. Thumbs it up if it has to be able to tackle this project or just again, scrap your parts for money on eBay and buy one of these brand new for about 250 bucks or so. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.